my life. Um, it was, it was pretty good, I thought. But then there were moments, I guess, where I'm, I was like lonely or maybe scared. I gave my life to, to Jesus when I was really young, and but then as I grew. Uh, and then I went into the teenage years. I I was like very angry at God because I didn't really like my situation in where I was in my life, and so I stopped uh, reading my Bible and praying to God, and like somehow like my personal relationship with God stopped there. Even though I still went to church because all my family are Christians and I still believed in God, but. I didn't put any effort into getting to know him more. There was always something that uh, felt holding me back, that it is just a religion and it wasn't really a part of uh, my life. It was just this separate part of me that I've kept segregated from maybe my schools or um, my academics. I believed in God but not, I only really heard it from other people so I just went with what other people were saying and um, and then when I was about 13 or 14 I went to the summer festival Soul Survivor and um, I was in this room of about 5,000 teenagers and I like, experienced God for myself. So I had this overwhelming feeling of peace and um, security. And then I just, it just clicked that it was, it was real and that, um, and that God was there. One summer when I was 15, I got to go to this camp sort of thing with other Christians who were my age. And I realized that there was something different between them and me, even though I was still a Christian, um, and they were Christian, they they was like they had this really cool like relationship with God, and they they were so confident in their faith and just outspoken, and and they knew about what they were talking about, and then um, and then I realized that there was something missing in my life and in my uh, relationship with God. I tried to pursue success um, in terms of my school and my my grades. Uh, in the end, um, I thought I was achieving a lot. I thought I was very successful after witnessing um, a lot of things that God has done in my life. I've seen that more than anything. Um, it is weakness that draws us closer to God and helps us to see and accept it. I realized that I needed Him in my life and that's why I was angry, that's why I wasn't satisfied. It's because I completely misunderstood what it was meant to like live a Christian life. I was trying to do everything on my own and that's why things weren't going exactly well. I started relying more in God and, and reading my Bible to, to get to know Him, not, not because it's something that we're like meant to do or like just to take a box, but it was to like get to know God better and uh, talk to Him and that changed completely my life because I knew I wasn't alone and He cared for me.